So what's your name? Uh, Dan Perry. And what's your position here at UT? Electrical manager. Cool. How long have you been here at UT? I just about seven years now. Awesome. And what did you, what'd you do before you were working here at UT? Actually, I was an electrician with Local 8 for 20 years. That's awesome. That's awesome. So how did this relationship between University of Toledo and GPRS form in the first place? Uh, you guys actually reached out to us uh, regarding the new training facility you guys are, are building right now and wanting to come out and do some more challenging um, locating. I know you guys were doing some locating at some churches and such and, and Matt asked about some uh, something more challenging and we've got a little bit of everything here with steam, condensate, water, gas, you name it, we've got it on the site. Have you guys used underground utility locating services before? No, actually we self-perform all of our own underground utilities. Uh, we've got an electrician here that works for me that's been doing it about 13, 14 years. Um, and he's pretty good with the electrical and with any type of metallic lines with tracer wires, but when it comes to plastic and such, we don't have the capabilities like you guys do to find that. So, you know, we, we're pretty good, um, but you guys have made us better. In my seven years, we've always, even when we've done projects here, we've always done the locating ourselves. Well, for one, we own our own utilities, so even oops doesn't even come on our campus here. Well, to get to the real tough question here, have you guys actually had any hits on campus while you were doing any work? Yes, yes we have. <laughs> uh, actually, it was last year we were doing the parking lot renovations. Uh, we actually hit a gas line there. We knew it was nearby. Our prints kind of showed it where it wasn't where we found it. Um, we were actually drilling a hole right next to it and we heard the hissing and um, yeah, it, it happened very quickly. So the project had to stop. We lost uh, the gas to about four buildings on the campus, shut down Student Union, our dining facility. Uh, for a good about eight hours until we can get Columbia out here to resolve the problem. How'd that make you feel when you guys had that utility strike? Oh, that, that, that was awful. That was an awful feeling. I mean, we knew we had it close by and we thought we were good, but when you, when you hit, and especially when you hit a gas line, you know because you can hear it. it. It was an awful feeling. It really was. I mean, it, and, and it wasn't so much that we hit it. It was more like I was worried about the safety of the guy in the excavator and about the people around and what, what was going to happen here. It wasn't so much that we hit it. We, you know, we can make that repair. That's not a problem. So how organized and up-to-date were your guys' as built at University of Toledo and plans prior to GPRS getting involved? I would say we were probably about 90% up-to-date. Um, as projects are completed, you know, contractors, architects, engineers are supposed to submit their as built drawings. And if there's something with underground utilities, we bring them back to our GIS group and they're supposed to upgrade our drawings and all that. Um, like I said, our electrician's pretty good on that, that sometimes he'll notice, hey, I know we just did a project and this line isn't here as such, so, but there's always room for improvement. And from what we've seen, what Mitch has provided to us, um, just looking at what he has, I mean, the graphics just, they're so much better. You know, you can click on, there's all that detail that you can add, you know, notes you want to add. Um, he has definitely further enhanced what we have. I mean, we gave him what we had, but he's just taken it to a whole new level for us. So, so far it's been great. We have this campus sectioned off, so we might have 30 or so, you know, this section, this section, and pretty much what you're providing us, we've got the same, but yours is just so, so much better. Just the, just the definition, the detail and all that, like we don't show all the manholes, we just show lines, we just show lines ending here and there, and, and the detail that we're being provided is so much better. You know, with Mitch and his group, what we found is, if he finds something out there that wasn't there on a print, hey, we think we've got something here, We'll be able to dig into a little bit more. We'll look back in our archives and say, you know what, maybe there is something here that we don't know. And we'll put it on there. Even if it's not there, we'd rather err on the side of caution and put it on there. And then if we ever dig there and find it's not there, we can always remove it. But we don't want to find something after the fact. What recommendations would you make to people in your field um, when it comes to mapping the infrastructure of your campus? Oh, it's, I, I can't stress the importance of it. I mean, anytime we put a shovel in the ground, from a stop sign to a sign for a parking lot. If we know we're going down about a foot or so, we're mapping it out, you know, we're, we're coming in, we're toning. It, you just, it's invaluable information that if you don't have it, you're not gonna get it once you, know, you do a project. You can't find it again until you find it the hard way. So it's invaluable.